What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Alright guys, real quick before we jump into the showcase that I want to do today, uh, I want to just really quickly clear up some things. Uh, you guys obviously saw, uh, if you're watching this, you probably saw my I will quit video if they messed up the Akuma. So just real quick, I'm giving them a month after Akuma is done to see what they do with the game. After the month is done, if they mess up, I'm out. 100%. No ifs or buts about it. But, I set myself a goal now because of that. I'm a timeline, right? Because chances are I might be out. Um, I'm going to try to do as many showcases as I possibly can on the existing characters to get them out there for you guys. So that way if I do leave and you guys are still missing my content, you guys will still have it available to you to kind of do the research. Nothing's really going to change here. All the vehicles are out. All the characters are going to be pretty much the same. I don't think they're really going to buff or nerf anybody. So hopefully they still re these guys will stay relevant to you okay so let's let's jump into a showcase now i want to I'm, I'm putting myself on a, on a little bit of a timeline to get these done so i'm gonna actually do bison today uh bison is a character that everybody knows about everybody knows the cheat code up up down down left right aba maybe another aba i don't remember it's been so long since i did that code but that's pretty much what he is right and a lot of folks know this that he can be one of the only units in the game that are still valid as an a unit doesn't have to level up even or not level sorry rank up uh to be pretty consistently your tank and one of your pretty good dps's to be honest because of the amount of aoe that he performs uh and not to mention the fact that he just constantly revives uh, as long as your team stays alive so with that being said uh we do got to talk about him because he's on everyone's list of top units he's on everyone's uh, teams. The only one he's not on is my team right now. <laughs> I'm doing a no bison run with my free to play, which has been actually pretty incredible. I'm almost at stage 11 on day five. I've been playing pretty casually, but I'm trying to do a uh, a no OP unit run to to see uh, to test other units as well as a free to play player, right? And it's been actually a really cool experience. So um, I'm enjoying it. They don't play any different than what I have here in my account. They just not as strong but everything else pretty much functions the same and it's confirming a lot of my testing which is good all right anyways let's jump into bison if you are new to this this is the guy you want to go for this is the guy that's going to elevate your gameplay and your progression to another level as soon as you get him things start to become a lot easier okay and he will be continuously used throughout the game whether it's early mid or late but I want to talk about everything that he has, right? So Bison, first off, is an Infernal Faction. He has an advantage against the Master Faction, which is the Yin and Yang, obviously. Uh, he is a Power Unit. He is a Fighter Class. And he's a Secret Arts, so he gets plus 100 HP. He's unique in a sense, the fact that he does incredible damage. Uh, provides weakened debuffs. Has a ton of AoE. It also plays as a tank. He's pretty much the LeBron James... Of this game he can play any position and still dominate right it's it's pretty nutty the only one he doesn't really play for is healing uh, but he doesn't have to because if you put him as assist he revives you with 30 percent H max HP he increases your 15 percent damage as the assist unit on top of you you probably will never use him in assist you probably use him as main but in case you never know right uh, so he is an absolute juggernaut not to mention um, he's his abyss of the dim sun so anyone who's master inferno their FS their fighting spirit goes up to level 40 so you can actually maximize his attack, HP bonus, and defense bonus even further than it already is. Now let's talk about what this unit does with his uh, fighting spirit. So if you get him from 5 to 30, I'll explain it all, okay? If you unlock it, starting from the second use, each return of the Inferno will further increase the damage bonus from Infer Infernal King by another 15% up to a total of 75%. So Infernal King, if you guys don't know, is the resurrection. So whenever he gets fatal damage, he becomes the Infernal King. He blows up like the whole screen goes purple and everybody takes AOE damage every after the second one you increase that damage by 15% up to 75% so the more he dies quote unquote and resurrects with Infernal King the more damage you do up to a maximum of 75% so keep that in mind it's it, if you're fighting single target units that don't attack the back you're pretty much a win okay so keep that in mind right Assist skill, this is what I was talking about, right? When the assisted fighter takes fatal damage, they are healed back to 30% of max HP and gain Infernal King, which we just talked about, until death. This effect grants 15% increased damage, but prevents healing, so you can't be healed, which makes sense, because it'd be too OP if you can get healed back to full health again, right? All right, number 10. While Infernal King is active and Bison gains Shadow Attack, Shadow Attack, each attack additionally deals 10% true soul damage, which is an increase to his pretty much every move that he does, because I think every move does do soul damage for him. Uh, Unlock at plus 20, Infernal King will affect other teammates, increasing their damage by 20%. So now you're getting a buff to your <laughs> your guys. Uh, and then while Infernal King is active, other teammates will also trigger Shadow Attack when they hit enemies, which is an, an increase of 10% true soul damage. So, 
absolutely a must-have at 30. Like, absolutely. Because not only are you doing more damage, not only are you providing an amazing assist, again, you probably won't use him as well, but you never know. Like, down the line, right, there may be better characters that he may be suited for. That 15% damage and revival is incredible. Um, but his Infernal King will also provide 10% more damage, soul damage, to uh, his attacks. And then not to mention, it also increases the damage of his teammates as well. So, absolute, absolute must-have. Whether you want to push him to 40, it's up to you. You can see here, if I level this up, it takes 50. When you get to 39, I, if I remember correctly, it takes 800 of these to get to 40. 800. So you may want to reconsider. I think 30 is enough, to be quite honest, unless you're a massive whale and you want to maximize these characters. Then you'll have some stat padding for sure. The percentages are, are pretty awesome on those, but they're not worth it, in my opinion. All right, let's talk to Bonds real, real quick. Uh, Rose, clearly, Kami... Makes sense with Killer B, Abel, yeah, the storyline, and Mad Ryu. Don't really understand his his uh, use in there, but he's in there anyway. So having these bonds will give you additional stats. Remember, those stats are, are there no matter what. I did a bond video. Go watch it if you need to know what it's all about. There's some misconceptions, but you don't actually have to click these guys. The moment you get them in your roster, even if you use them as food, as long as you've had them, they at whatever rank they're at, that's what you're going to get for your soulbound, okay? And his best uh, fighting soul is going to be Broken Formation for sure. If you want to use him as a tank, there's a, co up, a couple other ones. Uh, Echo is pretty good because the healing will be increased. Um, also, Assault is pretty good because he, do, he does do quite a bit of damage in terms of the amount of like numbers of hits that he does. Uh, Shelter is not really good. You don't really need a shield on him. Reckless is really good too because his defense is fairly high and you do attack back at 10%. And then Marshall is not bad depending the fight, right? If it's a long fight with a lot of health being miss, missed out like Big Dragon and stuff, then it's actually pretty good. But yeah, the best one for DPS is going to be uh, Broken Formation. All right, let's move on to his skills. Again, like I said, one of the most important units in the game. All right, a super is ultimate nightmare. Spin kicks the nearest target two times, causing damage equal to 263% of attack. The reason why it's AOE here, okay, guys? It says nearest target, that's one target. But if you happen to have the other target close enough, you'll tick them once. There is a reason why that's important, though, because it does cause weaken, all right? Uh, this is followed by ground pound, which generates an energy beam, heavy hitting multiple targets for soul damage, 135% of attack, and that's the AOE part. The energy beam has 100% base chance to inflict, inflict weakness, so 100%. The only way that it's not 100% is if you have the, uh, if the person has the effect resist, which will drop it a little bit. But if you have effect accuracy, it increases it. So there's a there's a battle with those two stats, right? Keep that in mind. Now, when it goes to level 2, it increases the damage, essentially, of the beam and the move. And the first two hits have a 25% chance to inflict additional weakness, not on top of the 100%. So you're doing more weaknesses. While Infernal King is active, the skill deals an additional 0.5% damage for every missing HP, 1% of HP. So this becomes extremely powerful as soon as it takes Fatal Damage and does Infernal King. Pull this off, way more damage. Absolutely way more damage. So an amazing opener for sure. Uh, combo 1. Holds the nearest target in the air and strikes three times, dealing damage up to 398% of the attack to it. Also converts 20% of the skill damage into M. Bison's HP. This is only really usable, guys, when it's you and one other character. You don't really want H you don't want Bison to be getting HP. You literally want him losing as much as possible, as often as possible, but keeping your other guys alive. Right. So this is a uh, a crutch attack if it's just you and somebody else. Do not. And I mean, if you're desperate and you need a combo one, he's the only option. You really don't want that, though. You want his combo 3, really. Like, you want a Cycle Crusher. But, again, in case you need it, right? Uh, so, increase the damage to 430% and absorbs 30% of skill damage. And then, while Infernal King is active, ignores the target's dodge, parry, and shield. Essentially, cannot be stopped. It will go right through. So, that's another good reason to have it. But, again, it's usually a clutch situation with you and one other teammate. All right, moving on to combo 3. Psycho Impact. Uh, charge Soul Energy and penetrates multiple targets. This hits pretty much the entire screen. Each target takes 3 hits and deals 306% soul damage. Each strike absorbs 1% of M. Bison's attack from the target, so he absorbs the attack. Each target's attack can be absorbed up to 15 times, guys. It's crazy. And, can be, and M. Bison may receive up to 45 stacks of this. It can get pretty nutty how much damage this does. And remember, this hits everybody. So um, while Infernal King, so this skill can't be interrupted, which is incredible. So if someone's trying to use interrupts, not gonna happen, so again, uh, other characters have interrupt. I think Abel has an interrupt as well. So those characters that have interrupts, not going to happen. While Infernal King is active, the damage, the the skill damage is 110% true skill, uh, true soul damage to the enemy rear position, with a 30% chance to inflict delusion. Okay, so this is this one's important. Okay, the target takes true damage equal to 30% of the attack, removes the weaken effect from the enemy, and inflicts stun. 
All right, the duration of the stun scales with the number of weakened stacks removed. Keep in mind, because the, the ultimate can do additional weekends based on the level, and if you have other units that do weaken, like like uh, Jury or, I think there's a couple other ones, I, I can't, can't remember them exactly, but uh, Jury is just one of them as an example. You can stack those, and that rear unit, after getting hit by that, will be stunned for quite some time and take way more damage. So really really good pairings with other people that do weakness and there's a, there's a lot of units that guys so I, I apologize for, i don't remember all of them okay so up, upon entering the battle he deals equal to 144 percent of attack to all enemies this is not affect by unlocking passive skills uh sorry this effect does not require unlocking passive skills so it's just there uh before M. bison takes fatal damage if any ally still survives and bison becomes immune to damage for three seconds and restores 40 percent of hp and returning the Inferno dealing soul damage equal to 265, and this is what I was talking about, right? And once that happens, he goes into Inferno King status, which lasts the whole battle. Uh, M. Bison will unleash Return of the Inferno when the ally fighter unleashes combo 3. So when your combo 3 goes off, now he just does the blast. So it becomes even more damage. Not only is it during fatal damage, but it also will happen after the combo 3 is executed. He'll just complete that in AoE. So it's an additional attack. And this is considered a trigger attack, right? So if you have units like Kami, she'll jump in at that point. Uh, M. Bison will unleash Return of the Inferno when Ally uh, unleashes combo 3 for the second time. All right, so first and second time. So 1 and 2. And then Return of the uh, Inferno smashes 2 times, each time dealing soul damage equal to 144% with a 15% chance to inflict weaken. So again, that weaken stack for the Psycho Impact, right? And again, they'll explain Infernal King down here. Increases damage by 30%, cannot receive any healing from others, and that's the point. You don't want him to be healed. So having a healer with Bison is kind of irrelevant, but you do want the rest of your team to survive. All right? Super, super nutty kit. Like, absolutely broken kit. And everybody knows this if you have Bison. And this is why he's so... Uh, valid and usable as an A rank unit. One of the only A rank units in the game outside of maybe B Zang who can do enough interrupts and stuns for you that can carry your entire team pretty far into mid game to be honest. Alright, so going to the garage. Uh, Judgment of the Abyss. Let's talk about this. Return of the Inferno triggers Psycho Absorb. Max level. The enemy unit that deals fatal damage to the fighter that Psycho Absorb triggers won't restore HP and deals 25% less damage. So this is, if you take fatal damage, you're going to do your. Uh, the inferno, the the inferno, uh, king of the inferno, and you're also going to do this called psycho absorb. Essentially, what that is, it looks like it's combo one. He grabs you in the air. He does the same move, and he'll he'll do that. Right? That's exactly what'll happen. He'll do, he'll he'll end up doing an additional damage, that but he it doesn't restore his HP. So it's his combo one without restoring the HP. Essentially, if the target's HP is below 40%, the move will now uh, do execute as well, dealing soul damage of 194% of the attack. Okay, so that's the last hit. So it does a three hit combo. Remember, that's what that move is. It's essentially this skill right here that we just talked about, Psycho Absorb, right? That's what ends up happening there. So this is insane because it just adds another layer to Bison's damage. He already does enough damage taking fatal damage. Now he's doing even more. All right, so Bison is the, the marquee powerhouse unit in this game there's nobody that does what he does better and nobody does what he does at all like he is the best unit in the game so this is why i'm doing my free to play without him because i don't want that cheat code in there i want to use other characters but this is the bison uh that everybody fears and this is the bison that everybody wants uh so enjoy guys uh remember he's usable pretty much at eight so if you have him and you really want to get further try using them. All right, guys, Payne, hope you enjoyed the showcase. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section, and I'm more than happy to answer. Take care, everybody.